those champions, there's like no assets of them outside of like Cog right now. Cog Vein. Because I don't think Jinx can kill them. If Jinx is going tempo, she can't kill them. There's no way in hell she's killing them. That means you have to have an AP threat somewhere else that can burst tanks, which isn't really in the meta. Yeah, you know, I thought Sly was actually going to get flamed, but I guess he didn't, really. No, I don't think they actually want to flame Sly because he actually has the... the Leagapedia. They sort of shut up once they sent the Leagapedia. Unironically, they sort of just, like, stopped. Uh, scoreboard... Well, see, Roar is pretty psycho, but honestly, if you don't attack, like, more directly, nothing happens. Yeah, but even then, like, Nats will keep attacking your hit stick or something, and it's just like... Yo, Nat, Nat, well, hit stick's a little kid psycho. Nats is just, like, a jock of psycho. But, yeah, like, but I don't think... I think they, you're like, not gonna... know better than to, like, attack, like, a dude that has, like, that many get, chips. Uh... Yeah, you're not gonna get psycho doxed unless you're stupid, like, tries to insult Mura. Yeah, one of, like, Mura and then do your... Yeah, yeah, yeah you much. don't... You don't really play with that. Oh, so if you hit V-Ring. Yeah, if you, if you hit V-Ring, that was insane. Tomorrow's running down Penzor. Uh, matchup top lane is winning for tomorrow. That shouldn't ever work for Vlad, really. Jungle is probably Squirtle's favor. Mid is sort of a coin flip. Uh, Victor oh, wins early. Garbage mid. Yeah, Victor wins early. He's been going even. He hasn't lost to V-Ring yet. I don't think V-Ring is a lane dominant mid, to be honest. I think no, I don't think he like... is either. I think that's why they he handshook the... The Viger. Oh, they know they're in there. Okay, that's good. Kindred started W, got one hit off on Thresh. W start's not good. I don't know why he started W. He's late on start. This is insanely bad. How long is he losing? Who, what, where? He lost full ca- This just started? They're gonna have first move on this. Lily is just starting this as this is just started. And the, this Jesus bot lane's gonna lose this. Holy shit, this game's oh, over. Oh, dude, MG's bot lane's And V Rang, V Rang's, or uh, Archer's already chunked out. They have massive control, and he missed the first three minions. Kairos mm. should be in this bush. Kairos should just walk up in this bush, deny these three minions here. And that's almost a two level lead right here. Yeah, KT has like a four minion XP lead. Yeah, he has a four uh, he has three. They were in range for the last three uh, range. No, just Archer was, the Galio was in range for the fourth one. Yeah, but that doesn't matter, because it means he gets level two, which is what he did. Slamic played that properly. He should walk out of range to let his Jinx get two off two uh, melees. Was it two melees? It's a wave. It would be two waves and two melees, yeah. Same How as, big of a mercenary was Islamic this series? Uh, He's getting shit on by bot lane. K KTN went 16-0 one game, and then he went 12-4 the next game, I think it was. So the answer the is, team dominant team. yeah, it's the answer is KTN is just fucking dookieing all over these idiots, and they didn't blind pick uh, Vayne game three, right? And then game four they blind picked it, and now Islamic has to ban it. Yeah, tomorrow just hard wins this lane top lane. This is really bad for Vlad. Panzor is playing it well. He's attacking the mana pool pretty well. He's like just ignoring. Tomorrow and just pushing the wave in, so tomorrow has to use man on the wave. Dude, if uh, v Rang actually played mid and BFE on Saturday, on Sunday, I think he would have won the series. This should be winning. They should be, the game should be over here. Game should be over here. Uh, no, actually the mana pull attack was useful enough that it didn't matter. Is it going to end here? Yeah. Uh... This is base. This is arguably finals right here. Oh. KTM's playing that right. Yeah, KTM's playing that right, but he dies. Oh, I feel flush. Oh, oh, does that matter? What's the score? Two one. Two one. But who got the other kill? Is what I'm trying to think. Uh, tomorrow got the first blood and kindred, and double buff. He got double buffed. Oh, uh, elf. Okay, Victor got it. That doesn't matter. Oh, I thought tomorrow got. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I thought he got it too. I was just double checking. Yeah, if top lane got it, then top lane's over. But Victor got it, so like mid's in an awkward spot. But yeah, this happens. Yeah, worst mid goes down 10 CS. Nothing really. 
Yeah, like he should be able, like he has a huge prior, so he should be able to push this in and just like perm make it hard for Viger to CS. Which is bad for Viger, but I don't think that does anything. But with the blue buff and red buff, red buff top lane, it'll do a lot. Oh, this is really good. If they can do this. Yeah, this should be kill. Exactly. Yeah, that's massive. That's way better than the double kill. I'll take that any day of the week. It means bot lane's gonna lose two waves here, and he just got shut down, so therefore he got 450. He's There's gonna a flash. He's dead. He doesn't have flash. He used flash earlier in the first gank. Never mind. That W actually saved him. Yeah. Holy moly. Oh, he could have killed V Rang if he autoed him once. He should have traded the kill on V Rang. I don't think he knows how to play that champion. Panzor is getting chunked here. That's pretty that... good. Uh... He's a good mid in general. Oh you, my god. Tomorrow, tomorrow wins that if he has cooldowns back up. I don't know if he had cooldowns though. This lane's so fucked. Panzor is screwing tomorrow over. This lane okay. does not get easier, by the way. This lane Panzor just gets worse. Probably the, one of the best tops in the league. This lane gets, just gets worse and worse. This lane's over. He has to reset. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, Panzor is like a Diamond Elo Sitter, I'm pretty sure. He is Diamond Elo Sitter, but he, yeah, he's one level minion off this kill. This should be a kill. Oh no, Panzor, what just... Okay, so he's standing here. He could have walked up here, denied the like this at all. And if this guy walks up for CS, he, he would have hit six off that minion dying. And then he could have ulted him and all in him because he has all CDs up. Mm -hmm. And that's a free kill because what is that? That's 190 plus pop damage. What? How much HP does he have? Yeah, that's QW or Alt W or Alt Q kills him or Alt E kills him. Anything kills him. And he would have had empowered Q there. He would have had empowered Q for the move speed, and he would have had his phase rush too. Pop. I don't know, that was a free kill. Panzor should kill both of them here. You shouldn't need a TP. Yeah, th that's a bad TP. That's a bad TP. He sacked the blade. V Ring's trolling harder though. V Ring's inting harder than Elf's is. In the world does this roam ever do anything? <laughs> Takes you 16 seconds to walk here. His eight, TP is 8 seconds, so by the time you get to here is when this TP will finish. If you had boots, it'd be 14 seconds, so you'd be like a tri-bush area. Panzor is trolling, but I don't think it matters. Yeah, because he has his jungle here. He needs to crash the wave, that's fine. Yeah, Good hook, they can't go in on that because W. Uh, you keep fighting, keep fighting, after shock's down, after shock's down. I think, I think Islamic trolled going, doing that E in. I wanna watch oh god. This. this should be dead. Bad gank by Monk. What did Chance say? Uh, Tomorrow's trying really hard. He's getting a kill. Uh, he might be able to get both here. Does he have E back up? He won't. Uh, almost. Panzor lives with 160, uh, 60 HP there. Alves uses ulti for mid lane prior, that's fine. Yeah, because his ulti should be back up before anything else happens, so that's fine. KTN gets push. There's no real threat to KTN here, so you should just go Gale Force. I would have personally gone Eclipse. Eclipse would be better this game on him. I don't know why he's going Gale Force. Eclipse would be better. On K10? Yeah. Hmm. You have three magic damage champions. You have a Jin, right? So everyone on this team is probably going to get MR. Which means Jin's lethality, if he just goes lethality, because the only threat onto him is this guy. Right? He'll yeah, just, I don't know how like, big, tier tap. big brain KTN is. I think he's just mechanically very good. Yeah. And, he, and he's already committed to, what do you call it, Dark Harvest. He should have just gone lethality. Plus he's already got a shit ton of Dark Harvest stacks. Right, he should be at like at least four, right? He's at two. Mm -hmm. huh? I thought he was at four. No, either way, he should have committed to the lethality. He'd be in a better spike here. Because if he committed to lethality, he could go uh, edge of night to protect himself from uh, Vlad. But this way, he has to like Gale Force out of Vlad's combo, which makes it really hard because then you're putting it on Vlad to not fuck up. I think it's a, it's a Monster Mash wins because of Panzor. 
It's really hard because tomorrow's actually been winning lane against Penzor quite off like throughout the series so far. I'm not losing it, but like I would say I'm saying winning because it seems like tomorrow's like an encounter pick. He might have got counter pick this game though. Hmm. That's good. That's really good. Uh, Ooh, good play. Yeah, good ul ulti by uh. It's fine. You should die there. You shouldn't try to save your person. Yeah, you should use ulti. You should heal here. You want to save W. You want to save W. Uh, you can win that. No. Oh my God. Yeah, you win that. No. Yeah. No, he missed the Q. I think he still wins it. Yeah, you win that. I think. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. He didn't need a flash. <clears throat> He didn't need a flash. I don't know what the flash is for. That healing was totally wrong. Yeah, but this is, seems to be what happens every game so far, is bot lane just wins naturally like this, and then tomorrow just gets Giga head off this. And then Elf just does dog shit in mid. Like, this is a matchup, just <laughs> Victor should just be winning. And he had double busts and he's losing this. This is painful. Uh, I mean, you're, you're just, you basically just have a gold mid. No, he's gold one. A, you're gold mid against a plat mage mid. I don't know if he ranks gold three or something, but he's basically a plat mage. He rank was like player. plat two or something. He peaked at that. This guy's hit plat four once in his life. Like I, I wouldn't call this guy an elo sitter. He has six hundred games. He's not elo sitting. He's a gold one player. Maybe plat four at best. If meta is like fine for him, this is one of his better champions too. The meta like, isn't he's quite the best. Trick. Trick. Victor is still. Victor's an okay spot. I guess Victor, I'd say, is like B8 tier right now. He's like pretty okay. up there. Okay slash good spot. I'd say he's in a very good spot. It'd be it's not. It'd be really hard for him to get a better spot right now. Right, because like, there's not really really any good engaged champions meta, right? So Victor's rather safe in where his position is in this game. Like especially this game. Like the only threat onto him this game is what, again, Vlad. All right, the Vlad's the threat, right? And it's like, okay, if there was a set, that would be a threat. Leona would be a threat, but like both of those champions aren't meta right now. Uh -huh. Right, I think the best engaged supports right now are probably like Thresh. Uh, I'd say Thresh Galio pre Galio nerf, and then <laughs> lol, solo killed. He should die here, though. Yeah, V-Ring dies here. Ulti him, you fuck! What? That was good by Islamic, he needed the shield. That was good, and he used the Ignite to make sure... Uh, good early W, good kill. Yeah, Monk should get the kill because tomorrow doesn't want um, another one. He should die here, did, he doesn't have sleep. Did you just say my name? Huh? Ah, uh, nevermind. Uh, yeah, I think Islamic dies here. And... Oh, said... Islamic doesn't die instant, Squirtle dies. Yeah, Islamic doesn't. Yeah, Islamic doesn't die. I said tomorrow shouldn't get the kill. Monk should get the kill because tomorrow he has enough kills. So this is pretty good for him right here. Uh, Vlad can't walk. Or uh, not Vlad. Victor can't walk up here. Otherwise he's inting. He's inting. Panzora sees it. Uh, what else is going on? Oh, maybe Panzora doesn't see it. Never mind. Panzora is just content with the wave crashing. I guess that's fine. Panzora is even on gold. I think. Fourth, yeah, he's even on gold with the Silas. Uh, is there any advantage? Mid lane has advantage. Bot lane has advantage. Support has massive advantage. <clears throat> Silas is only in the game because of the kills. Like everyone's gonna say he's super strong here, but he just didn't even complete item, and this guy's already completed, completed item. That's only a too much gold difference here. He kind of messed up the laning phase, but whatever. Good take by Monk. Didn't panic on the smite. Victor's caught back up in CS mid, which is really bad from V-Rank, because V-Rank had a 40 CS lead at one point. That's just really int. I don't know. Monster or NG Black does against uh, MC or CB Rush. That's a curious game to watch. I don't know. Uh, CB Rush has lost to Monster Mash in every game so far. Every tryout. Or not tryout. Scrim. Penzora wins this. This is massive. Okay, you should have given the kill to Vlad. If I should get the kill here, like I just said, the Vlad's the only threat here. Viren getting the kill doesn't do anything other than make it harder for them to engage on you guys, which isn't really what they're trying to do. They're trying to catch you back. 
Which is like you black. Oh, that's good to sleep. Yo, imagine if Deity wasn't so that's bad for some unknown reason. I'm sure it actually was. Or the ball lane just went even. I think they could have taken on him. CB rush. At least one game. They might be able to take one game, but yeah. I said Deity's like a platform player at best. Oh, Ooh. KTM wasted fourth shot. Uh, controls inting. Oh, that's really... a kill? Uh, you should have stayed fourth shot for longer and just try to bait it. Actually, yeah, I would have just tried to bait it because if Islamic went for the all in on you, then you could have. Oh, Alves is inting. I don't even think Deity's a platform player anymore right now. Oh. Uh, Kyra saw that and didn't dodge it, didn't think it would hit him. Yeah. That's really bad. Is, like, this game is in a really though. awkward spot now. This game is only yeah. winning because. What is it? Balling still hitting gold? Nope, it's jungle. Damn. Damn, mid's down 700 gold already. That's already what, a full blasting one difference in gold. Mid is MV mid or V rank? Uh, V rank has an extra 800 gold on mid already. He hasn't bought anything, so the gold hasn't gone anywhere. He actually has spent his gold, just that he spent it really questionably. Oh, you want to start tier 2 over a finishing item? Yeah. Well, the other guy has finished items, so technically, what do you call it? V-Rang's better for roaming, but he shouldn't be playing for roaming. Tomorrow's dark. Yeah, this is a waste of time to chase any further. Tomorrow's going in. That's really int. Yeah, that's really int. You you can never force out his thing. <laughs> Aw, Panzor, report yourself. Oh, uh, if that hook landed, they could have. Oh, they couldn't have fought. Never mind. I didn't realize Samurai was there. That's good about Rome by Samurai. KTN moving is really troll, though. Whoever called for KTN to move is really stupid. Yeah, he, he just lost CS for no reason because he moved to try to help with the fight. He was never going to get there in time. It takes 20 minute, uh, 28 seconds for him to walk up there. He's never getting there. It's just not happening. It just means he's going to lose. Pl a bunch of a tower HP to Jinx and like a wave and a half. So, Lilia should have sequenced camps better. So, Lilia's trolling a little bit. If she just sequenced wolves and the raptors, it would have been fine. I don't know why she had to skip over wolves. Now her, her pathing's really awkward and her sequence is fucked up. So now she's going to be end up putting herself behind. MG just threw a massive gold lead. They had a 4,000 gold lead and they Ooh. just threw it off of like just not being able to manage the rap properly. That's a little fucked up. There was what, two kills happened? Yeah, two kills happened during that time period and they lost 4,000 gold. Off of what, a 600 gold shutdown and then nothing and one kill. So they lost 900 gold in kills. So they lost almost 3,000 gold in just fucking up wave states and management. Well, that's pretty fucking impressive. Mm, blue probably gets strike in here. Great. Uh, tomorrow has TP advantage, but I think Panzora is not gonna care. Oh no, never mind. Panzora, Panzora kills him then. No, nope. Panzora wins this. Panzora kills him. Panzer should chase there. I don't know why he's not chasing. Oh, he doesn't have vision, I guess. Well, he should chase, because if he doesn't have vision and that enemy jungle is topside, that means he dies, and that means your team gets striking. And that's fine. He should just chase, I think. Because at worst, he loses a wave for dragon. Because, mm. yeah, if he doesn't have any way of threatening tomorrow, so tomorrow can't TP, I don't think. Yeah, tomorrow's just gonna reset and TP. Like, you're gonna trade. Your team has to give Dragon here if you wanna make this worth. He has to calm this. If he doesn't calm this and they can try to contest Dragon, this game's in a really bad spot. Monks are really good at securing Dragon win con here. It's gonna be Infernal Soul. Yeah, they destroyed first turret. Tomorrow's still top lane. Tomorrow's TP. There's good wards for TP. They're going to try to contest this for some reason. They can't contest this. Victor's retarded. Yeah. 
That's a lot of waste of time. You guys could have taken mid tower during that. You could have taken mid tower or fucking rift or both. If you're in position, yeah. Tomorrow's pinging it. Thinking that K Kindred's top side, but Kindred's not top side because they try to contest it for some reason. That's such a waste of time. Oh, it's funny knowing that Pac Paul got Giga Jungle Gap by Squirtle. Well, this is macro. I think this is from Samurai. I think Samurai is their macro. It's this Samurai made a bad call there. Yeah, Pac Paul still got Jungle, Giga Jungle Gap. Pink Ward's good there. Yeah, this is good. Uh, oh, that's good for Panzora. Then, oh, that's bad. Panzora should see swept. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Panzora lost a lot of HP from that. Holy shit. But yeah, you see, everyone's already starting to like build a little bit, bit of MR and stuff. So if KTN just had lethality, it'd be a massive here. Because either they have to afford into armor to try to deal with KTN doing the lethality damage and doing way more damage with lethality, or he, they would have to adjust into just trying to kill T KTN instantly, which would be really hard through the team comp that they have, because if they commit to trying to kill KTN, then they have to deal with well, diving into Lilia Silas, and Lilia's going to have sleep, and then Silas is going to have the ability to get uh, Kindred R and Vlidar, which would be insane, <laughs> plus viewings are. Tomorrow can't fight this. Yeah, this is inting. He just died here. He's he gonna still stall. Dies. Yeah, he's gonna stall. Oh, T Panzor fucks up flash. This is really good. That flash is actually good here. Oh, that flash is actually good here. I I don't know if he will lose though. I don't think he should be able to live. No, he's he not gonna waste a lot of time though. Yeah, and because of that, th this is gonna go like this. Yeah. Ballings like this, and you saw their mid and jungle top side. So KTN can do this. Oh, uh, you should have just auto. Uh, you could have just auto tower. You don't have to, but you could have. Maybe if you kill kill tower, then maybe you could kill him. But I doubt it. He should be dead here. Yeah, he's dead. Flash is fine because I don't think he thought he would die there. KTN kills uh, him. Trap. Huh. Yeah. See, huh. if he had lethality there, that that auto would be doing way more than uh. 500. KTN gets... Ooh. That's fine. Um, Monk's gonna get... Uh, tomorrow's inting. Ooh. Yeah, I think tomorrow's inting. He can take Viger ult. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's shut down. Oh, and that's Squirtle. Okay, Squirtle fucks it up. Okay, Squirtle didn't fuck... Oh, that's massive. Okay, well, fuck. Was that a double shutdown? Yeah, a double shutdown. Yeah, he's even in gold now. Gold? Yeah, he's even in gold all of a sudden again. Holy That's fuck. 700 G, holy. Was it only 700? Or did he get double well, shutdown? I mean, 5 plus 5. two shutdowns. It's a 5, it's 6. He got 1100 off that. Oh, really? Never mind. <laughs> yeah, he got two shutdowns. One for 800, right? Because, no, one for 600 and one for 500, yeah. 300 gold shutdown and uh, 200 gold shutdown, so that was 1100. Yeah, he just got full nullifying orb off that. That's insanely <laughs> bad. Yeah, the game is completely even top lane. They're ahead again. Yeah, I'd say that they're in a winning situation. The only difference is mid's like insanely far behind, but like you have dragon win con. So it doesn't matter that Victor's insanely far behind because Victor doesn't do anything in this comp. Victor, all he has to do is press the, drop the W and ult, that's it. No, even then, like the W and ult doesn't really change a team fight. Like no one on the enemy team is really going to get fucked up by the that. Like the only thing... Is like it's sorta of zones I guess it's sorta of zones uh Viger, Jinx, and Galio a little bit. But the rest of them are just gonna go straight through it for no reason. They're not gonna care about that. Plus he went fucking this item. Ludens. Right. Which should he be gone in your opinion? Eberfrost? Probably. Because he's not gonna get any value out of the magic pen this is giving him. You think he should have been a peel bot essentially for KTN? He could have gone Leandre's. Uh, that they have HP stackers, right? You could actually been a bad idea. You could go Leandre's and go for the CDR. You could go Everfrost and go for the peeling and the extra HP. Oh, oh, oh. I want to mm. die. He missed every skill shot, but it doesn't matter. Squirtle's asleep. That was an interesting ult. He did it because he thought that they would ult on V-Ring, I think. 
I think he was expecting Viering to just go kill Monk, so they couldn't do Dragon. Yeah. I think he was expecting Viering to go for the kill and then all that. This is a good spot for them. Yeah, mm. yeah, they they can't fifty fifty like that. Do they have ulties? No, they don't have ulties. Yeah, they can. Uh, that was really awkward. That's really bad for them. I think it Man, I feel like every game I'm watching is pretty good. Is a Vlad or Silas on the team? Well, I see Vlad's really good, and a Silas is a decent answer. Like what everyone's picking in gold right now or in plat. Like Silas right here gets a lot of value because Vlad are Kindred are, his are, and Samurai's are. Right. Otherwise, this pick is actually dog shit. But because like if they pick the Silas here, like there's no good R's on the enemy's team. Like there's there's not a single good R. Like Jin R is not good for Silas. Victor is like a l fine. I wouldn't say it's good. And then Lily R doesn't do anything for you. Like it applies it off all your abilities and your passive and all that, but it's like it's gonna be really hard for you to, like you know, get enough like people hit by that to be useful with it. I guess Kairos's R would be fine for you. Like, uh, what's his name? Thresh has a one point three AP scaling on his or his ulti, which is one of the highest in the game, which would make it really good for him. But like, you're not picking Silas just for Thresh R kick. But Silas with Vladar is insanely hard to kill. And Silas with Kindred R makes it really hard to dive KTN and then their Victor. And then Samurai's R makes it really hard for... What do you call it? Really makes it really hard for the enemy team to make cross-map plays. And it also negates Viger and Panzora. Because it gives the person MR shield and it gives them bonus MR. <laughs> right, like this game he should probably finish whatever... I don't know what he's building here with the, these two. Uh, I think he's going for Cosmic Drive. I guess I Cosmic just... Drive into Namicon no. into Spirit Vestige is what I would say. I think he just got the Oblivion just for some healing reduction. Yeah, he, he, he should probably finish Cosmic because he built it, but I would have probably... Yeah, I get, think I think that build's fine. Like, he doesn't need more EP. I think he just finishes his Cosmic for the extra CDR. He goes into a Namicon because they're going to need the healing reduction because he's one of the only people who can afford into buying it. Uh, Lilia should pick up uh, Morellas as well. And then, yeah, Lilia should pick up Morellas as well. Because I don't think Victor can path into it. Victor will be really useless if he does it. And KTN can't do into it. Yeah, see, Katian's already building into the one-shot build, so he, if he just picked up, what do you call it? Eclipse, went Eclipse Collector into, like, he could have gotten Eclipse a Collector into either Rapid Fire or into the um, Night's Edge. And he would have been better off damage-wise. Especially with Infernal Soul, that would be a lot of damage for him. Mm, Panzor is giving up a lot right here. He's freezing the wave, which is really good. This is really bad by them. I don't know what the fuck this shit is. <laughs> this is cringe. Let's take everyone, everyone just sit mid and take Gen Z XP, XD. Oh, he's dead here. He didn't know about that. Yeah, he didn't know about that. I assume you can't see Galaxy's W from. Okay. You can't. You can't see it over the wall. The pink was a bait ward. That's why they placed it how they did. Yeah, Monster Mash probably gets the soul. Or gets the dragon, which is really bad. I mean, this. 10 seconds on Silas. Yes, TP. Yeah, but they have to wa Oh, what the fuck are you doing, Archer? Uh... That's two ulties out. 
Yeah, okay, you lose. You don't get soul. Okay, enemy team gets uh, soul. Yeah, enemy team gets team. soul. Yeah. Yeah, MG Black gets sold, Panzor is rooted. Yeah, see that auto, if he had Eclipse, would have done 500. This game. Uh, yeah, what if the? he had Eclipse, he would have done 500. He would have been easier to kill. Yeah, what and the? then he would have had a shield there, too. Okay, Tian Panther? No. Maybe. The team's going for it. Mm -hmm. There we Maybe go. give him the Penta. I was gonna say, yeah, it's gonna be really hard to get them. Mild in to get them. Mm, reset. Jin pushes mid. You guys get tower, you reset, and you go for which I'm gonna call it. Baron. I like this build by Vigar. Eh, okay, forcing this is a bad idea. If the enemy team has any sort of idea, you're on it. Yeah, okay, good. You don't force it. Kindred's really low on mar Mark Econ. Kindred has bad build too. Jinx's build is fine, I think. Yeah, Jinx's build's fine. The enemy team didn't buy armor. Yeah, see, like, this comp, like, none of them can really afford to buy, ma like, armor magic resist, so, like, these picks are better. Yeah, he's going Infinity Edge, yeah. He's not gonna have any protection for himself. Yeah, KTN doesn't like playing with any sort of protection. Surrender vote for blue failed. That's not good. Monster Mash put up a surrender vote. What stacks is he at? Th Eleven. Okay, I thought he was at thirteen. He's a little bit behind tempo on Dark Harvest stacks. He's at a good spot though. Uh gold should be all in the ADC and top winner, right? Yeah, top's fine, mid's even, their mid's way ahead, that's insane. And KTN's ahead. The victor is so useless. This victor pick does absolutely nothing. In the last 10 minutes, he's only picked up an Amptom. Very useful pick, champion. He picked up an Amptom. Yeah, he finished, he bought an Amptom and finished boots in the last 10 minutes. This guy is what you define poverty mode as, sir. Everyone's three items and you're at two items and you can't even get close to your third item. That's poverty mode. <laughs> yeah, Jin's four He's items and you're two items. Decent enough to actually get carried. That's basically all you need to do. Uh, it's more that the enemy team didn't punish him at all because he's just dying solo in lane to V rank nonstop. It was just that the enemy jungler decided that the win con was Penzor for some reason. Instead of just realizing the worst player on the enemy team is Victor, and Victor has no way of doing anything. And Victor also wasted flash and never got punished for it. He wasted flash twice and only died once because of it. Engaging on the galley is fine, blowing the flash is fine. These fourth, sh yeah, fourth shot lands on the samurai. That's fine. Alti from Jin was a little questionable. I wouldn't. I don't like it. They have to take this tower. They have to back off. Yeah, they they can siege this tower with Baron. But I don't think they can siege farther. Can they? I don't think so. The E by Victor's trolling because he's taking away a lot of Lily's healing by killing that camp faster. Oh my god, that's game. That should still be game. That stole- I actually got rid of Silas, sir. That's not good. Victor's dead oh, on the side. Game. Yeah, Victor's- GG. No, Victor doesn't die. Yeah, that's game. Yeah. Oh, KTM for his fourth shot at a melee- uh, range minion. Kek W. That's over. Okay. Yeah, I just got the message from Kairos. Oh, tell him congratulations.
No, like, he sent me the same message. He sent me the same message he sent you. What one? Monster who? Yeah, Monster who get, get reversed on sleep. Monster who? Get shit reversed on swept. Oh,